Hey guys, Jack on Wrist here, back with another video. And in today's video, I wanna show off an awesome Michael Brown watch with a really cool inspiration. The watch I'm showing off today is from the Roebuck Watch Company, and I'm gonna be showing off the Deviso model. So the Roebuck Watch Company was founded by Guy Roebuck, a former architect who has brought a lot of his architectural background into his watches. And I think that's a really cool idea as architecture and watches have a lot in common, especially you know design and function specifically. And so to put those two ideas together is really interesting. So without further ado, let's check out the Roebuck Watch Company's Deviso. And really quickly, before we get on with this review, check out the Roebuck Watch Company with a link in the description below. I'm really grateful to be able to do this review, so definitely give them a look. All right, so here is the Roebuck Watch Company's Deviso model. Definitely an interesting watch. You can already see just by looking at it some of the more interesting aspects of the design. But before we jump into that, let's talk about the basic specifications and materials used. This is a 42 millimeter watch. It has a 50 millimeter lug tip to lug tip dimension. It features a 22 millimeter lug width for the strap and is 12 millimeters thick. So definitely a slightly bigger watch. Now really quickly, this is the watch on my six and a half inch wrist. It definitely wears a little bigger, um, but you know, would definitely fit my wrist size and bigger. Definitely if you have a seven inch wrist or a little bigger than that, it'll really be a nice sweet spot for you. Um, talking about the materials here and some of the other specifications, uh, full stainless steel case, it weighs 100 grams, so definitely a little weighty, which is great to see. Um, also, it has 100 meters water resistance, uh, features a sapphire crystal. And talking about the movement here, it features a Miyota 9039 high beat movement. Definitely an interesting, interesting choice, uh, not something you see super often. So great to see that choice in this watch. Again, that high beat movement is gonna give it a nice sweeping second hand as you can hopefully see there. And as long as we're talking about materials, this also features a really nice leather strap here. Really a nice, thick, high quality leather strap, which is great to see, especially at this price point, um, which is $550. Um, you can see it has a signed buckle there as well. Um, we'll talk about the price a little bit later, more specifically, but again, it's nice to see some of these really um, standard or really good uh, materials and you know this type of watch. Now talking about the design here, again, as I mentioned, it's a pretty polarizing watch, uh, but breaking down some of them, you can obviously see that a dial is the biggest thing that you're gonna stand out and see with that orange stripe down the middle, the light blue colors on the uh, sides of it. Now keep in mind, this color scheme is not the only one this watch comes in. It does come in a really classy black and white. It comes in a green and gray. I believe it also comes in a silver and black. So. You know, keep that in mind, there are other color options. Now this one happens to be the craziest of them all, um, but I actually kind of like it. It makes this watch really fun. I'm not sure if this is a great daily uh, watch color scheme, but definitely a really fun watch color scheme. Um, also it features a carbon fiber bezel, which is really cool. You don't really see carbon fiber used too much on watches. I know it's a, a little trend now within micro brands to use carbon fiber, but usually you don't see it as a bezel. And I really do like the way it looks. I mean, it's obviously unique to this watch, which is really cool. But again, I think it's, I think it looks really cool. I think it shines really well um, and definitely a nice feature here. Also, it features an inner rotating bezel. As obviously you can see that it has two crowns here. This top crown by the two o'clock is the inner rotating bezel. Now, I'm not 100% sure if this fits the watch super well. You can obviously see that the red triangle matches the red tip at the second hand. So I'm not saying it isn't integrated well in terms of colors, but I'm not 100% sure what this watch is going for with the inner rotating bezel, but I can't really complain too much. It definitely is a useful feature in this watch. Um, it reminds me of those super compressor dive watches. Um, obviously this isn't a screw down uh, crown here, but kind of with that sort of inner rotating bezel, it does remind me of those watches. Um, Again, it's a useful feature, so I can't complain too much. Moving on quickly to the side of the case here, you can see a really unique finishing to the case. Again, adding to just the uniqueness of this watch. You have a brushed inner area and a polished outer surround. Um, you can also see that on the other side with the two crowns that are both signed, you can see that same mirrored pattern of finishing. And I think generally as a, you know, as a watch finishing wise, definitely it is really nice. Um, every angle looks pretty good. Now, I believe this model has been passed around um, for, to a couple of reviewers, so the condition may not be perfect, but I think it really is a nicely finished watch. So as I mentioned earlier, this is a $550 watch. 
Now, in terms of price, I would say build-wise, it is actually worth it. Um, it is definitely a watch that is well-built, hefty, feels really nice. Um, now, is that price worth it to you? I'm not sure. That's really gonna depend on if you like the design. Now, I would definitely recommend you check out the Roebuck Watch Company in the link in the description below to see the other colors as those may look better to you. But again, this is a polarizing watch. So if you like it, it's gonna be worth it to you. If you don't like it, obviously you're gonna stay away. That's your own choice. I also wanna quickly mention the Roebuck Watch Company travel case you do receive with this watch instead of a standard watch box. I like that a lot because I know those watch boxes can sometimes be really big and we don't really know what to do with them. So to have a nice single watch travel case that you can use for any watch uh, or obviously this Roebuck Watch Deviso um, is really nice to see. So yeah, that is the Roebuck Watch Company's Deviso model. I think it's a really interesting watch, definitely really polarizing. I think a lot of people are gonna love this watch and I think a lot of people are also gonna hate this watch just cause it's a very interesting look. Again, I recommend you check out the link in the description below to the Roebuck Watch Company to check out those other colorways of this model. I think all the different colors provide a different look that are very unique. So again, check them out, link in the description below. But in conclusion, it is definitely a well-built watch. Definitely has some unique looks that you won't really be able to find anywhere else. And if you like it, go for it. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. That was the Roebuck Deviso. Again, check them out with the link in the description below if you're interested in this watch. But with that being said, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.